I'm Dion and this is my swing analysis. Let's take charge of your game. So welcome to this week's My Swing Analysis. We're your coaches, Andy and Pierce. Now, if you want to have the chance to win a swing analysis with myself and Pierce, make sure you leave a comment down below and we will choose a winner for next week. Right, Dion Johnston, Pierce. Yes. Um, quite new to the game, mm -hmm. uh, looking for more consistency, okay. like, like we all are. Of course. Um, but he's struggling with high, weak slices. Now, um, when somebody says this, certain things go through our mind and what we're going to be looking at. But when we look at his golf swing, it's a good golf swing considering he hasn't played that mm -hmm. long. But with a, a simple um, couple of changes, yep. it can really make a difference. So let's take a look here down the line, because down the line here is really the key thing. Now, as we move away, he's got a very common swing foot that we term the disconnected move away, where the arms separate from the, the body, the club moves out, the hands move out. And then this really makes it very difficult on the way back then to recover Pierce. Now, as he swings down now, what happens now, generally we see this a lot of the time, is that the club goes steep, the club now is swinging on a path which is to the left, over the top, um, and this influences really the consistency, but also causes that slice to the right. Mm -hmm. So if we can really look at improving D uh, Dion's backswing, yep. but then getting his downswing a little better, yep. um, they almost work together. If we can get the backswing better, it's going to help with the downswing. But um, Pierce, do we have a drill that can that can work for both? Yeah, we do, because the, the drill that we've picked here to do this, Dion, is specifically looking at how you work the handle of the golf club when you swing it. Because as Andy said there from his description, his analysis, as soon as that club and handle comes away from the body, it throws it out of sync. and You're playing catch up all the time. So what we're gonna do, trail hand comes off the golf club and it goes to the side of your lead wrist there. So just on the back of my watch, back of the wrist like so. Now it's here for support. It's not really creating any pressure. It's just there to support it. So all we're going to ask you to do is, without even thinking about this, just do some backswings. Just some little backswings, some little move aways, and you'll see straight away that actually, this is really good. You haven't got to think about doing this, it's just naturally going to go, that the weight of the club is going to work back like so. It is very, very uncomfortable to do that, even with that hand supporting. I mean, that won't work when you're hitting a golf shot. So it's really good for getting that move away better. You'll notice when I'm doing this as well, the arm is pinned to the chest, which I really like. And then when we go into the downswing again from here, the club naturally almost wants to drop down behind. So you can see I'm just shallowing the club behind me and the, the weight of the club is really doing this for me. So then as I come into the golf ball now, it's coming on a very different path. So again, if I'm at this position here, there's no way that I'm gonna to wanna to do that. This is, that's totally unnatural for me to do. So the natural thing is just to let the club just sort of drop down shallower behind me, and then I rotate the body through. I like that, so just do that one more time, Pierce. And notice when Pierce does this move away, his shoulders start that move, really good wind up. Now here on the way down, as you can see now, as you start the downswing, the club shallows out, and he keeps keeping this arm nice and close to his chest, which again is gonna be a big help for you, Dion, as well. Yeah. Really like the draw, really like the draw, and it just work, re works really well with our students as well. So the key is rehearse, 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 and then get the feeling of doing it when hitting a golf shot. So we noticed you were hitting some shots in the net there. It's the perfect place to do this because you can do three or four of these and then hit a shot. Three or four of these and then hit a shot. All right. Okay, so look, we're here on the 18th, par three at the oh. three, 200 yards into the breeze. Pierce has got his work cut out here to get it on the green. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, nice. Beautiful shot. That was a nice one. Go to but the centre of the green, that one, Pierce. It's interesting that when I'm hitting that shot there, I really did get the feeling of the hands travelling well across my body and the weight of the club I was very much aware of. None of sort of this disconnecting and then steepness in that shot. That's really good. I like that drill. So give it a go, Dion. Hope that helps. Make sure you post a comment down below. Let us, let us know if it does. And don't forget to enter the competition. Leave your comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. We hope you enjoyed that and for more help with your game this year make sure you click the subscribe button down below yes and also make sure you check out the previous video here now may is all about finding fairways at meandmygolf.com so go and check out the website down there we've got a fantastic video series launching next week find a fairway we know you're going to love it see you soon guys